In the headlines, Presbyterian Church of Ghana urges government to review free SHS policy. Meanwhile, Education Minister Dr. Educhum assures Ghanaians free SHS policy won't be cancelled. KKD reacts to finance minister's firm alleged to be advisor to finance ministry. And Mion Paramount Chief and heir apparent to Yana laid to rest. Welcome to the news in brief on Graphic Online. The Presbyterian Church of Ghana is asking the government to review the free senior high school education policy to allow parents capable of financing some aspects of the program to do so. According to the church, the free SHS program has become a huge financial burden on the government. In a communique issued after the church's annual general meeting at Abitifi in the eastern region, the Presby Church is expressing the belief that if capable parents are allowed to pay for some aspects of the program, it will bring relief to the government. The church says although the free SHS program is laudable as many needy children now have access to senior high education, it has become a problem because the government alone cannot shoulder it. Meanwhile, the Minister of Education, Dr. Yaose Duchum, says President Ekufuado is still committed to the implementation of the Free Senior High School Program, despite calls to review the policy. Speaking in a television interview, he says the program has been of great help to the less privileged and therefore would not be cancelled. When we talk about Free Senior High School, to some of us who are privileged, right, we look at it through a different lens. When you go to my villages in Bosumchen, you go to Bonkoko, look at the opportunity this has presented to them. They are sitting on edge thinking that the opportunity is going to be taken away from them. I want to assure the people of this country, the people of Bonkoko, Bontefufu, and all this village, that their opportunity will not be taken away from them. Popular master of ceremonies, Kwesi Dakwa, is expressing shock at reports that a firm associated with Finance Minister Ken Furiata is an advisor to the Ministry of Finance. Speaking on GTV's breakfast show this week, KKD says a company associated or previously associated with the Finance Minister stands to benefit any time Ghana goes to the international market to borrow. A video of the interview has gained social media traction and is being shared on many platforms. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Finance in a statement said the claim that the said firm had been appointed as advisor to the Ministry of Finance was incorrect. I read a report yesterday that broke my heart. I saw how much Ghana owes. But I also found that apparently the Minister of Finance's company or former company is a transaction advisor to the monies we borrow. Mm -hmm. So as Ghana gets poorer, the Minister of Finance's company or former company gets richer. Mm -hmm. Is this what we want to continue in this country? Do we want to re elect people into office, give them their pay and their perks, and then allow them and their friends and their companies or their former companies to be the very beneficiaries of the woes of our country? This is not only about the Minister of Finance. This is about Parliament. Parliament, you must be ashamed of yourself. You have failed the people of Ghana. Because I don't think from the time of Nkrumah to date, whoever is the Minister of Finance should be benefiting every time our country goes to borrow money. Before we go, Na Mahmoudou Abdullah V, who is the Paramount Chief of Mion and heir apparent to the Yana, who died on Wednesday, has been buried. He was 48 years old. He reportedly died on Wednesday morning at the 37 Military Hospital in Accra. Graphic Online gathers he has since been laid to rest at Sambu, the traditional capital of Mio, in line with Dagbon customs and tradition. He left behind four wives and 12 children. The late Na Mahamadu Abdullah V was heir apparent to the Dagbon skin. He was the next in line after the reigning overlord of Dagbon, Yana Abukari II, Per the rotational system of the Dagbon kinship. A spokesperson of the Myola Na Palace, Dr. Mahama Natongma, in an interview with Mohamed Fugu, described the death of the late chief as a big blow to the Abudu family and the entire Dagbon. It's been a big blow, a big loss to Dagbon as a whole, the Abudu family, and then uh, 
Mama Mbla's family. This was so unexpected. He was our young, revered chief, whom we were mentoring to take up the namship of Dabo. He had the best advisors around him, he had the best doctors around him. But what God ordains will ever happen. Graphic Online News in Brief is brought to you by Graphic News Plus. Download your Graphic News Plus now and choose your preferred package daily, weekly, monthly, and annually and access free news on various interest areas as well. Visit us on graphic.com.gh for further information. Graphic News Plus, connecting people through news. Thank you for watching. For more news, please visit our website graphic.com.gh or follow us on Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube and Twitter at GraphicGH. I'm Ama Amankwa Befi. Subscribe now.